I just wanted to <laughs> share something with you. I took my uh, mud duckling uh, out for a little flight this morning, and it's the first flight since I've made some changes on it, and uh, thought I had everything pretty much figured out on this plane. This is a mud duck sport that I uh, reduced down to about a 40, I think a 42 inch wingspan. And uh, I learned a couple of lessons. <laughs> and you know, taking a big plane and shrinking it down always doesn't you know, work exactly. <laughs> it's not all you know exactly proportional. Uh, the problem I ran into is my uh, control surface was uh, surfaces were a little small, um, mainly the elevator. I thought about changing it, and you know, I'd, just from looking at it, it looked to be a little small, and uh, I didn't because it looked so good. I didn't want to mess with it, but the bearing went on the motor in the last flight, uh, barely got off the ground, and the, and the, and the motor uh, just started spinning uh, like off balance really bad. And here, here it was the bearing. So I put new bearings in the motor. I took off, and it was has lots of lift, it was going up nice, you know, nice and I wasn't, you know, pulling back on the stick too hard, soft on the controls, taking off and went out and um, it was turning really nice back and forth and I banked and I came around and uh, the wind kicked up a little bit and I thought, well, you know, I'm going to, it was, it was kind of um, coming against the side of the plane a little bit and sort of pushing me around, so I banked a little bit more than I should have. <laughs> And, you know, once a plane stalls, sometimes you have no choice but to, <laughs> to go down, and that's what happened. It went down hard. I am happy with the construction of the wing, though, I have to say, because this is fanfold foam with wood glue and newspaper. And, I mean, this thing hit, this thing hit uh, full force. And uh, it did crack, but that was because of where my struts are connected. The, uh... The bad part of it, this is that the motor that I just replaced the bearing on, uh, the shaft snapped off and it's pretty much frozen up because, well, it's turning, but uh, because I think it's just, the front of it is just jammed on real tight now. So it is actually repairable if I can get a shaft for it. But the plane itself is, um, I'm not going to bother. <laughs> I'm going to build again. Another lesson I learned was uh, something I already knew, I guess, but this kind of reinforced it, is um, don't spend uh, so much time making it pretty that you're afraid to fly it. <laughs> well, time to pull all the guts out of it and uh, start on something new. I, I am going to make another um, mud duckling, though. I, I do like this plane. And the only thing, if, you know, I would suggest if you, if you make one of these, you know, by making the mud duck, sport plans, you know, reducing them down, is, uh, again, the, the control surfaces all seem good in proportion except for the uh, elevator. I think it needs more, uh, maybe twice as much elevator uh, surface area. So, I'm already building something new. Thanks for watching.